Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Today our topic is why David Wood and Sam Shamoon cannot refute Imam Sheikh, Doctor, Prophet of Allah, Adnan Rashid. Now I say to you from now, nobody can refute those people. I'm, I'm just saying you, don't even try. They are genius. We have a very like, you know, in order to debate somebody, he have to be I mean, you have to be even close to his knowledge and his education and his intelligence. Otherwise, what are you doing? I feel sorry for David and Sam. They, they are struggling with this guy. They are no match. <laughs> anyway, uh, you know, uh, actually yesterday when they were live, uh, I know I got notification you know usually I'm not uh, I don't watch videos of others usually but uh, just for fun so I click to see and I saw like they are they are they are refuting this uh, uh, mad person Adnan Rashid let us not to waste time <clears throat> let me tell you how the whole argument is wrong from the beginning you see the Christians and you know I love both David Wood and Sam Shamoon they try always to defend the Bible. But what's what's your problem? You see, this, this Abdul is trying to prove to you that the Bible of Allah is corrupt. So what's your problem? He lost the debate before he started. Because if you are saying to me that you are your the target is is to prove that the Bible is corrupt as we see in the video of Adnan Rashid. If we ask the Muslim, okay, the Bible we are talking about is the Bible of who? Is it the Bible of the Christian? No. You are a liar. This is the Bible of Allah because Muslims believe that Allah, he sent the Torah and he sent the gospel. If we go in the Quran, we will find this. <clears throat> Just to show you that the idea itself, proving the stupidity, of the one who come with it. The Muslims striving, working hard to prove to us that the book of Allah is corrupted. Good for you. Your God Allah is a shish kebab potato. Anyone can spank him and change his book. This is what you are saying to us. We agree. Is that your Quran? Chapter 3, verse number 3. It is he who sent what? He sent the books. Which books? And by the way, the translation here, as usual, it's false. They say confirming what went before it. It says in Arabic, مصدقاً لما بين يديه, Confirming what is between his hands. So look, the same verse saying that the Quran confirming what is between their hands, between his hand, which is the Torah, as you see, and the Gospel. However, as long as the Muslims are saying that Allah, he sent the Gospel, which is called the Torah to Moses. And the gospel which sent to Isa, as you see in front of you. So the Muslims are trying to convince you that we have a God. His name is Allah. He's a potato. He's an idiot. He sent 124,000 prophets. All their books are gone. If we ask the Muslims, okay, the Quran says that uh, 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 Abraham, he have uh, books. Where is the books of Abraham? Hmm? Suhafu Ibrahim wa Musa. What is the books of Abraham and the books of Musa? Who is the one who said that Allah? So Allah sent books. Allah cannot preserve his books. Allah obviously cannot be God. For God, nobody can win against him. You see, when you have a book, you are the one in charge of preserving the book, not a human being. A human being died. Human being is corrupt. Human being is a sinner. This is why supposedly God He sent messengers because a human being is corrupt. So the Muslim he do his best to prove to us that he have a God. His name is Allah. He's a fifi. He's a susu. He's a doo doo. Anyone can change his books, and no one can do anything about it. Additional to that, we have to add that uh, in Islam, <coughs> uh, nothing happened except by the will of Allah which means if the book is corrupted it must be the will of Allah to be corrupted and the Quran confirmed that all over 
chapter 64, verse number 11, as an example. In the hadith, Muhammad, he confirmed what it's called Al-Qadr, destiny, that Allah, he write your deeds before he create you, which means the bad and the good. So the one who did the bad and corrupt the Bible, Allah, he wrote for him, corrupt the Bible. So the real, the one who corrupted the Bible of Allah, not our Bible. Remember, the Muslims are talking about the Bible of Allah. We Christians, we don't approve that Allah gave us anything. We have nothing to do with him. So this is the problem between them and between their God. So what the Christian they want to defend? Agree with them. The second you say to him, I agree with you, your God, Allah, his books is corrupt. And this is an additional reason not to trust Allah. Because, look, the Muslims are saying to us, Allah, he sent 124,000 prophets, as Muslims agree. All those prophets, their book is corrupt, which means the books of Allah, 120,000 prophet or books, their books is gone, except one. Who, who can trust Allah after that? Imagine you put somebody in a library. You tell him this is the key for a library, and this, this library have 124,000 books. And then we come back, and then we find in the library only one book left in the shelf. Can you trust this person again? So what the Muslim is saying to us, that we have a God, he's a mad God, he's a stupid God, he sent his books and he is not, he don't have intention to preserve the books. Because why he is not pres preserving them? Because he don't have intention. And actually he has given them hands. Because when you give them now a book and this book will be corrupted, that means this book will be a tool of the devil against the people. So you are not helping, you are helping the devil. This is number one, stupidity they come with. Take note. So when a Muslim, he says to you, the Bible, the Torah corrupt, say to him, the Bible of Allah is corrupt, no problem. That is a proof that Allah cannot be God, for he cannot preserve his books. Why the Quran says it clearly, لا مبدل لكلمة الله. Nobody can change the word of Allah. So how Allah, he says, nobody can change the word of Allah. And you are saying to me, Allah's word is changed. The Muslim, they will say to you, oh, this is... This is about the Quran. Where it says it about the Quran? Where it says? Do you see? It says no one can change the word of Allah. Everywhere. He didn't say to the Quran. And none can alter the words of Allah. So the Abdul, they say to us, no, you can alter the word of Allah. And then they say this is only about the Quran. That is a stupid promise because if this is true, that means Allah is an idiot. He liked the Quran only. He don't care for the rest. And that means he wasted his time. All those centuries writing books, sending them down, and he don't care for them. He liked the Quran only. You see how stupid it is? Now, going to the topic. What is the topic? Uh, the one who is making the videos, if you are copying my video, Cut this part and start now a new episode. This guy, Adnan Rashid, is a genius. And I will show you how genius he is. He is going to show you why you should believe the Quran. Okay, Adnan Rashid, why? Tell us, please, why. Uh, but they claim that he did not know what was in the Bible. I will prove to you that the author of the Quran knew what was in the Bible well. God Almighty knew what the Christians and the Jews had done with the scripture, with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Be my witness, the Christians and the Jews, what they done. Now we can show you tons of verses confirming the Bible, confirming the Torah, and even his prophet. He took an oath on the Torah. So if you're a prophet took an oath in the Torah, that's mean you're a prophet is a fraud. For how the Torah is corrupted, as you say, the Jews and the Christian, you just said that. The Jews and the Christian, what they done to the, to, the, to, the, to the Bible, right? So how you're a fraud, you're a fraud prophet. He say, I am meant to be key. What be many are key? I believe in thee. He told them, bring me the Torah. And then the Torah was brought. 
And then he placed his hand over it and he said, I believe in thee and the one who revealed thee. So I am going to go with you. The Torah is corrupt. And now you're a prophet. He is taking an oath by the corrupt Torah. That's mean he must be a corrupt prophet because there is no way any, any man, he have a little decency. He will swear by a book which is corrupted. Saying, I believe in thee. Not only he says, I take oath. I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. He sent, he, he believe in thee and it's corrupt. Tell us more about your proofs. It's a comedy time. with the Torah of Moses. We will tell you how we know that. How we know. Now, I'll give you one example. Give this. Amazingly, the Quran mentions similar stories that are found in the Bible, but it does not repeat the mistakes. Mm -hmm. Now, it is impossible for Muhammad, peace be upon him, to be an archaeologist, to be a historian. Stop. Come on. The prophet he is Dr. Muhammad. He knew about medicine. He knew that one seed can solve all the disease. He ordered you to drink camel urine. He is the one who says seven ajo will stop any magic and any poison. And you are telling me he is not historian. He is the one who quote for us names. Nobody heard of them. Continue. To be a linguist par excellence in order to know all these stories that, are, that have only come to light in the 19th century. I'll give you one quick example. How I know the author of the Quran knew what was in the Bible and he knew the errors, the mistakes of the Bible which were not put down in the Quran. The story of Joseph mm -hmm. in chapter 12. Mm -hmm. It makes a distinction between the king of Egypt in the time of Joseph, mm -hmm. which was the old kingdom and the king of Egypt at the time of Moses. Mm -hmm. Amazingly, the mm -hmm. Quranic text makes a distinction between the two kings when it comes to their titles. Amazingly, shockingly, surprisingly. And I will give you the details very quickly right now. Please. And this is to prove that the author of the Quran knew exactly what was in the Bible Absolutely. and what was inaccurate historically. Mm -hmm. And this was an inaccuracy in the text of the Bible. Mm. The king at the time of Joseph, which was the old kingdom, nearly 19th century BC or the 20th century BC, whenever Joseph li uh, lived, whatever um, chronology you may choose to follow, but that was definitely the old kingdom. At that time, the title Pharaoh was not used for the kings of Egypt. This much is very, very clear historically. An Egyptologist who deciphered the Egyptian language, the hieroglyphs, they have made it very clear that there was a family called the Hyksos. They were governing Egypt at the time. Hyksos kings were not known as pharaohs. They were simply called Humph, H-M-F, which literally means your majesty. Or oh, this is how they were referred to. It was in the time of Moses, later on, somewhere around 14th century BC or 15th century BC when the title Pharaoh was used for kings. Now, when we go to the text of the Bible in the book of Genesis, the king of Egypt is called Pharaoh in the time of Abraham. The king of Egypt is called Pharaoh in the time of Joseph. The king of Egypt is called Pharaoh in the time of Moses. Amazingly, the Quran does not repeat this historical error. The Quran referring to the king of Egypt in chapter 12, Surah Yusuf, calls him the king, simply the king, Malik. The title Malik for the king is there in chapter 12 of the Quran when the story of Joseph is being told. But when we come to Moses in the Quran, the king suddenly turns into Pharaoh. His title is Pharaoh, the Pharaoh. Now this is a subtle point in the Quran, but it is an accurate one. Let us see how accurate it is. Everybody will be start laughing at you in two seconds. Be my witness. This guy, he just gave us a tool to get him busted with no mercy. You see, the Muslims, they just say it and confirm that the Quran distinguished between the Pharaoh and the king. So it was not a mistake to distinguish, correct? We cannot say it was a mistake no more. So he cannot take now, this is back and put it in the fridge. And as he say, I did not say that. Actually, he is just copying the articles of Muslims. He is no one. He don't even know how to read his book. But if we ask, First, we are talking about who? We are talking about a guy, his name is Moses, right? So as long as we are talking about names, let us go first to Moses and then we will go to the Pharaoh. Step by step. Who is Moses in Islam? Who is this person, his name is Moses? 
according to Muslims, Musa is the son of Amran. This is the book of Al-Bidayah and An-Nihayah. وَهَوَ مُوسَ بْنُ عُمْرَانِ We can show you in this books, all of them, saying that Musa is the son of Amran. العذب النمير من مجالس الشنقيط التفسير All Quran tafsir agree that Musa is the son of Amran. From here we start. This is a chapter 3, verse number, actually just to start from the name. What the name is? Alu Imran. Alu Imran. Okay. What Alu mean? What Al mean? You see, the problem is, we are debating idiots who do not know how to read their books. So, if we go right now and we type in the Quran, I will copy the word as it is. You know, oh, you cannot copy it. So we have just to show you the stupidity. Let us type the word Al first. The search engine is stupid. Al in Arabic mean the family of Amran Al or the family of anyone as an example let us start show you some examples chapter 15 verse number 59 the people of Lut is the family of Lut not just people they are his family this is why he saved only the family. He did not save the people. He saved only the, the So what is the word here? Al. Alulut. The family of Lut. More. Here you will see Al Yaqub. Al Yaqub. The children of Yaqub. The family of Yaqub. Read it. Al-Yaqub. So what Al mean? The second we put Al before the name. That means the first is a, a word mean family. The second is a name, not a title. Let us continue. Al-Yaqub again. Al-Lut, chapter 27, verse number 56. All of them, you know, except the family of Lut. And you see, you can change the translation. If you don't like translation, certain translation, you can change it. All of them, for me, they are shish kebab. They mean nothing because we can go right now to the interpretation and you will see all of them, they agree that those are the family of, of, of those people. Al. You see, I said to you that this is his family. We save not except his family. So when he say Al, he's speaking about what? His family. So they ask him to kick out of Al-Lut or to get them out. And we saved only who? Who got out? His family. Chapter 27, verse number 57 and 56. more chapter 19 verse number 6 chapter 15 verse 61 I mean it's all over the family of Jacob Al Yaqub continue and now suddenly we find and look at the translation here how it changed suddenly it says instead of saying the family of the pharaoh it says the people of the pharaoh but all of us we knew 
that even in Islamic books, the one who pick up the Pharaoh, that's a Musha, a Moshe, it was the family of the Pharaoh. Not the people of the Pharaoh. You go to the Arabic, you will see it says, فَالْتَقَطْهُ آلُ فِرْعَوْنِ Again, the family of Pharaoh. And here we see another mistake where it says, فِرْعَوْنَ وَهَامَانِ So this is confirmed that Muhammad, he considered Fir'aun as a man who have a name. His name is Pharaoh, not a title. In Arabic, my friend, when we have a title, we add the before it. As an example, if I want to say, uh, the name of Christ in Arabic, I don't say Christ. I say Al-Masih. Al-Masih. Why we say Al-Masih? For it is a title, not a name. We don't say Al-Muhammad. Al-Masih. When we speak about the name of the Messiah, we say Isa in the Quran, right? But when we speak about his title, as you see in chapter 3, verse number 45, you see it says, The Al-Masih. Isa ibn Maryam. So before the Masih, there is Al. Why it is Al? For now it is a title. The Quran did not say Al Fir'aun. The Quran says Fir'aun. The same as he say Isa. The same he say Maryam. The same he say Aaron. The same he say Musa. So the Quran confirm that this is an Al present a family of a man his name is etc. Let us give more proofs for the idiot who don't who who will not listen what whatever we say anyway. Let us show you more. If we go, how Allah present Abraham family? Did he say Al Ibrahim? Yes. Alu Ibrahim wa Alu Imran. Chapter 4, verse number 54. The translation here they say the people of Abraham, the fact no, for Abraham only was going around with his family. So it says Ali Ibrahim. Now, if we go and see the interpretation, they agree that the, uh, the translation is wrong because it says the family of Ibrahim. If we change the translation, let us see. Because Ibrahim, he did not go with uh, his tribe. You know, it's just his family. Hmm. Read. The house of Abraham. Look how translation changed. The house of Abraham. The house of Abraham. We have more to show. As an example, when the Quran speak about individual, he mentioned them by name. When he speak about their family, he add the word Al before them. Chapter 12, verse number 6. And then Allah, he bestowed his, his mercy or his blessing upon what? Upon Al Yaqub, the family of Jacob. So what Al confirmed all over the Quran? It is a family. You put it before a name of a person that will make him the family of that person. The family of the person. Al Yaqub. And right away we hear the name of Joseph here. And the guy he's spoken about him that he did not say king. The Quran say so. Did not say uh, Pharaoh. He say king because the idiot Muhammad he think that Pharaoh is the name, and he do not know the name of that king. So he called that the, the one in the time of Musa's. He called him Pharaoh because he think this is his name. This is why he keeps saying Al Fir'aun. Let us show more reference for the idiots. إن الله اصطفى آدم ونوح وآل إبراهيم وآل عمران. Translation please. Allah preferred Adam and Noah and آل إبراهيم. You see the family here. Each time you see the family, آل إبراهيم. 
Al wa Imran. So Al, it's proven all over the Quran to be what? To be the family. Now, <laughs> did Allah He call uh, Pharaoh speaking about him, saying Al, uh, the same as He spoke about Al Ibrahim? Yes, He did that all over the Quran. So if we go back here. Are we learning, guys? Are we having fun? Do you see how we get them busted? Do you see how easy? Hmm. This is what happened when, it, when an idiot, he started talking. He opened his mouth. Look at this. Chapter 2, verse number 248. It says here, Alu Musa's وَآلُ هَارُونَ آلُ مُوسَزْ وَآلُ هَارُونَ Okay, but Musa and Harun, Aaron, they are brothers, correct? So, Al cannot be the people of Aaron and the people of Musa because this is the same people, <laughs> correct? Let us read the translation. آلُ مُوسَزْ and آلُ Aaron, آلُ هَارُونَ Read carefully. And the family of Moses and the family of Aaron. So what Al mean? Al in Arabic mean the second we add it before a singular name, that's mean this is the family of the person. As simple as that. What about dictionary? Do dictionary confirm that? Absolutely. Here we go. This is the Arabic dictionary. If you use it before a name, what will mean? Family, house, kin, kin kindred, uh, kinsfolk, the people, relatives. Giving you all the options. And this is a Muslim dictionary. And anyone goes right now, say uh, Al Saud. We say the family of Saud. What do we say? Al Saud. Al Nahyan, the princes of, uh, uh, you know, in, in the Gulf, in, in, the, uh, uh, in Bahrain, and in those families. Al Nahyan, the family of Nahyan. Al Saud, the family of Saud, the royal family of Saud. So Al is a word you added before the name of an individual. And that make it his family. And as you see, unless you want to say the Quran is a stupid book. In order to get out of the trouble, the Muslim, they try to translate saying, oh, no, hold on. Al uh, before uh, Pharaoh does not mean the family of Pharaoh. No, it does mean that the family of Pharaoh. We can prove it so easy because all the Quran speak about Al. As you see, it's a family. Now, if we go to more reference, if we search for Mr. Al, or the word Al. <laughs> Alu Faraon. How many times Muhammad he keeps saying Alu Faraon? And we save you from Alu Faraon. Who is the one in charge of the kingdom? Pharaoh and his family, the royal family. Who was it chasing, you know, chasing them? Pharaoh and his army. And including all the leaders who they are from his family. This is why we see one of the family of the Pharaoh. He was not agreeing with the Pharaoh. You cannot disagree with the Pharaoh unless you are with the family. Unless you are a prince. Or son of the king or maybe his brother. All of this is Alu Fir'aun, Alu Fir'aun, Alu Fir'aun, all over the Quran. Look carefully. In Arabic, it says, when you want to say the people of someone, they say, Qawm, Qawmihi, Qawm. Qawm and Al are different. Al, we showed you from the Quran, mean a family of someone. Qawm mean the people of someone. As an example, 
you will see the Quran itself calling the people of Pharaoh Qawm he called them what? Qawm let us see chapter 7 verse number 109 the quality people of the Pharaoh, like his leaders, from Qawmi Pharaoh. You see, this is the people of Pharaoh, not his family. There's no Al no more. Qawm mean the people. And who is the one who talked to the Pharaoh? That's normal. The quality. Ministers, etc. That's why we see he mentioned Haman. And Haman is a mistake because Haman was not exist in the time of the Pharaoh and he was not exist I mean, in, in, in that time, he was not exist in, in, uh, uh, in Egypt. This guy is a minister all the way from far from Iraq. How this is end to be Haman with the Pharaoh? Qawmu Pharaoh. All those verses says, Qawmu Pharaoh. Wa nada Pharaoh fi qawmihi. And Pharaoh, he called in his people. Aren't, uh, uh, is, isn't me who is the king of Egypt? Why he didn't say, isn't it me who is the Pharaoh of Egypt? Isn't it the kingdom of Egypt? I am the king of it. Click the translation just to show you the stupidity when they translate too. No, they make it the dominion. What dominion? It says, milk, 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 milk. I am the king of Egypt. And this is the word in Arabic. Is it for me the mulk of Misr? Change the translator. This is Yusuf Ali. Let us see a different one. Usually they copy from each other, you know. Let us see a Mr. Maududi Dudi. Do, 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 dominion hmm. let us see the front one the kingdom don't I own the kingdom of Egypt simply he's saying I am the king of Egypt so the Pharaoh he said to his people and here we don't see the word Al we say Qawmah Ya Qawm Oh, my people, isn't it me who is the king of Egypt? So why Pharaoh? He's saying, isn't it me, the Pharaoh of Egypt? If Pharaoh is a title, why he didn't say that? He should say, well, I, I, because Pharaoh supposedly is a title for the king, correct? He did not say Pharaoh, he says Mulk. Now the Muslim here might say to you, well, Mulk, he is not saying I am a king. He did not use the word king. He says Mulk. No, he's saying that because Mulk is me being a king of this place. I own it. Coming from the word, Malik is coming from the word, uh, uh, you know, uh, he own. So all the reference take us to one place that Muhammad is always considering the Pharaoh as a person, as a name. And we have more reference actually. The idiot, he said, that his book is getting it right. However, in case you do not know, all Islamic scholars, they come with their own fiction as an example. What is the name of the Pharaoh in the time of Moses? Ibn Kathir, Tafsir al-Tabari, etc. They say here that the name of the Pharaoh in the time of Moses was his name Al-Walid ibn Mus'ab. Al-Walid ibn Mus'ab. And this is an article here, but let us see. Tafsir al-Tabari. Tafsir al-Qur'an al-Azim Tafsir 
تفسير القرآن لابن أبي الربيع I'm just trying to find where it says. I, I did not open them, by the way, to see what it says exactly. But I, want, but I will consider the one which it says what is the name. Let me let me find you the reference exactly, so we can give even uh, the name. All right. Let us see here. This is an article. We don't want article. We want tafsir. All right. This is Ibn Kathir. He is saying. Pharaoh the one who was in the time of Moses, his name is Al-Walid ibn Musab ibn Rayyan. <laughs> the Pharaoh is an Arab. <laughs> However, this is stupid. So we will not consider it because it's so stupid to be true. I mean, even the name of the Pharaoh is an Arab. Stupidity. Where did they get this from Muhammad companion? Right? However, let us see academ academic study made by Muslim scholars in history. Muslim scholars in history. This is... I'm not done, by the way, about reference. Just hold on. We are just showing extra stuff. This is the official newspaper of Al-Ahram. Very well-known newspaper in Egypt. Published April 26. As it says in the top, I'm not sure. Oh, no, sorry. This is 2016. Here it says that Al-Bahit Al-Athari Ahmed Nur al-Din. He's a Muslim like you. He kiss a black stone. He bow down to Allah. And he, 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 he drink camel urine. The researcher the, the, uh, uh, of, of history, Ahmed Nur al-Din, he said, there is many evidence that the Quran speak about Pharaoh as a name of a person, and it is not a title. Now, why? Let us see why he is saying that. And that in total agreement of what a Christian prince he said to you. I'm going to translate the, the, uh, uh, the text for you. So you can see how this person he got that the Pharaoh never mentioned uh, as a title in the Quran. All right, very simple. As I said to you, in Arabic before the before the title we have to add L. We have to add L. Let us see where it says that. Let me find the, the what he said exactly. Give me a second, so we don't keep flipping the page up and down. All right. Here we go. We read, and in the reference of the proof that the Quran, the generous Quran, calling uh, in many places the Pharaoh for the Quran come as nakira, غَيْرُ مُعَرَّفَ. Nakira mean uh, like in Arabic when we add al, as I said to you, that make it known, known. You know, like if you want to say a specific person, so you add al. Before that, if it is a title, as we said, and that proof that it is a name, Ismu Alam, it's a name of a human. It is not a title, or a description, or a name of a job, like king or emperor. And this is why it's mentioned Al Hakim Faraon. 70 through 74 uh, time in the Quran in, in, in this is example all of it coming as nakira which mean not without the L bef before as you see biduni L which is a clear evidence that it is a name of a person by itself and nowhere it's mentioned in the Quran 
that it is polar pharaoh, like many pharaoh or pharaoh. Like, you know, in Arabic we say pharaohs, many pharaohs, you know. Now, let us translate. Maybe, maybe my translation is not, is a lie. Translate to English. All of you will see and you will laugh. I remember the one who is saying agreeing with the Christian prince is a Muhammadan. He is a scientist in history, writing in the middle of Egypt. Ah, the page could not be translated. Hold on. Let me open it with Google browser. Give me a second. All right, we open the same page in Google browser so we can translate the page. And this is the scientist himself live on TV. Proving that this is what happened. As you see, this is his picture. And this is Al Haram, one of the most biggest, powerful uh, uh, newspaper in Egypt. You see, in Egypt, if you say something against Islam, this this newspaper will be burned immediately, and everybody there will be killed. The title is "Pharaoh was a name of a human, not a title." Let us translate. Translate to English in the front of your eyes. Pharaoh. Is a name like here the name is coming like science name. It's a name mentioned in the Quran, and it was not a title for the ruler in Egypt. Do you see it, idiot? Let us continue down. What is the proof of this guy is saying? He's saying there's confusion. Many they say they think that the Pharaoh was a title or a ruler. No. The Quran did not say that. You are confused, Abdul. Your prophet was right. And you are an idiot. And now he will change his position. If scientists, they say his name, this was not a, a, a title, it was a name, he would, he would accept. Right away, he would say, oh, this is science now. <laughs> All right? So let us, what it's, uh, let us uh, read together. This, the scientist, he emphasized the word bara uh, or pharaoh is administrative etc okay yeah. let us go and then we could what we know we want is the quran as for the evidence in the holy quran he said that there is many including that the word pharaoh in the quran found as a noble which means it's not as uh, uh, you know like uh uh, uh, uh as i told you nakara like it's uh, usually in a, uh, when you call somebody by a name uh like you say, Isa, there's no need to say that, Isa, because you are talking to him, Isa, he's known. You just gave him his name, not a title. So, which indicate that the, the, it's a name of the person, not a title. You see, Google translation is not correct, but it, it, it does the job. It is not a title or adjective or a position. Like a king or an emperor, the name or the name of a ruler was mentioned as Pharaoh 74 times in the Quran without L. Did, did the Christian prince say to you in Arabic, we put the word L before a name if it's a title? Any word? We put it before it like the, the king. The, the, if we want to make it, if we want to make it, you see this, we're talking about Arabic, we're talking about other language, only Arabic. The Quran is in Arabic. We are not talking about translation in English where it says Pharaoh. In, in English, it can be. It can be you say Pharaoh. No problem. But in the Quran, never say the Pharaoh, which will make it a mistake if it's a title without the. L without L. In a clear indication, who is saying that? A Muslim in Islamic TV, right in Egypt, and he is a big historian scientist. In Al Ahram newspaper, they have a TV station too. It's a clear indication that it is a name of a particular person. You are a certified idiot, Adnan Rashid. 
you just put a nail in the coffin of your prophet Allah and your God Muhammad and now as long we are here we make it so clear and Muslims even agree with us against the stupidity of those people who have no knowledge this guy don't even have high school what his knowledge in Islam to talk about Islam nothing you know those speaker corners they wear jeans and they go there and now it's a business what is your knowledge nothing you can't even read two, two verses in the Quran and I find it funny when uh, like David or Sam Shamoon they say he is the most like uh, the, the the best debater you made me you made me laugh you guys you, you know the uh, uh, David Wood and Sam Shamoon I think they are being sarcastic in that this guy is an idiot but now as long we are here the Quran say clearly that as we mentioned Alu Imran if you remember we mentioned Alu Imran in the beginning okay Alu, Alu Imran Alu Imran the family of Imran, we go back to zero. Alu Musa's wa Alu Harun. Hold on. The family of Musa's and the family of Aaron. Chapter 3. Alu Imran. Family of Imran. This is the name of. A man, his name is Amran. Okay, who is the family of Amran? <laughs> Question What is the name of the father of Moses in the cult of Islam? The name is Moses ibn Amran. What? Moses ibn Amran. What is the name of the father of Mary? I'm wrong. <laughs> so now we have the father of Amran, the father of Mary is Amran. إذ قالت امرأة امران ربي إني نذرت لك when the wife of Amran she said. But the wife of Amran here is the mother of Mary. And as long you are talking about the Quran correcting the Bible, you idiot, how the Quran come with the name of the father of Moses to be the father of Mary. And I challenge you to say that it doesn't say in Islam that Amran is the father of Moses. And this is why in different place in the Quran, your idiot prophet, he say, Oh, Mary, Maryam, Si'ukhtu Harun. Harun? Mary is the sister of Aaron. Yes, because they, because they have uh, one uh, father. His name is Aaron. <laughs> you see, they try to say, you say that the, uh, a Jewish man, he came to Muhammad, supposedly he became a Muslim, uh, you know, and he said to Aisha, well, this is wrong. I mean, uh, there is, there is, a, there is, according to the hadith, it says there is 600 years between Aaron and Mary. So how she can be his sister? This is going to be, and Muhammad, he got busted. Actually, even when Muhammad, he sent, according to the hadith, he sent a messenger to Najran. They said to him, will you say, they said to the messenger, you say, your prophet say, that oh sister of Aaron but Mary isn't a sister of Aaron so when he came back Muhammad he said to him shouldn't you say to them that they used to call by their great righteous men but the, the great righteous is Moses because Moses in Islam is way more high rank from Aaron so if they want to call by the righteous they want to call by Moses or maybe even more higher Abraham and Moses is not even from the tribe of Mary. So what happened? The thief Muhammad, as usual, he copied that from the Bible. In the Bible, it says that Aaron, he have a sister. This is Mr. Aaron. He have a sister. And this sister, her name is Maryam. Exactly as it is written, In the Quran exactly 
not like it's not it's not like a maybe a maybe not you know if we go to the book of numbers verse number 60 26 sorry i think uh, let me uh, just to be sure you know we are getting old sorry what we can do scooby scooby do muhammad do do read with me here we go the name of Imran, Imran, even your prophet could not quote the name correctly. It's not Imran, but he's an idiot. So Imran, Imran became Imran. So he missed the first one. Sorry, the last letter. Instead of N, it should be M. So, and the name of Imran, wives, was, etc. And the daughter of Levi, whom her mother bore Levi in Egypt, and she bare for him, uh, bear uh, Amram uh, into Amram, Aaron and Moses and Maryam, their sister. This is why the idiot Muhammad he called Mary the sister of Aaron, which make her the sister of Moses in the same time, because he heard from the Jews that Maryam is the sister of Aaron. And later when he got busted he wanted to change that but it's too late because already you made it clear that Moses is the son of the same man and not only that he made a chapter all of it it's about Alu Imran the holy chapter called Alu Imran so all of them became family Alu Imran the family do you see guys even the Muslim translation says the word Al is a family family of Imran are we done no, we just started. <laughs> Stupidity. <coughs> if we go in the hadith, <coughs> we will find the following. Not only Islamic history scientists agree with us that Muhammad is an idiot. Look what your prophet, he agree that he is an idiot. Muhammad, he said, Allahumma salli. The, the, the Muhammad, he order you. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Ali Muhammad. Ali Muhammad, the family of Muhammad. Do you see it? Are, are, you, are you blind, brother? Are you blind? And this is Sahih. Don't tell me it's not Sahih. Please don't tell me it's not Sahih. So, Allahumma salli ala Ali Muhammad. I like it when the Shia, they, 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 they do it. The Shia is the best when they say this. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. And they, they make it so long like a laundry rope. It was said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, we know how to greet you, but how to invoke Allah for you? He said, say, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa Ali. You see Ali? This is not Ali. Ali. Which means the family. Ali Muhammad and ala Ali Ibrahim. We can show you the reference in different translations, so we'll make it clear for you. Hmm? Here it's the same. Ali Muhammad wa Ali Ibrahim. Ali Muhammad wa Ali Ibrahim. What does that mean? The family here, actually this hadith here, they have, they have it in English, have it in Arabic. Look at this. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Ali. This is the family, the word Ali. Muhammad wa Ali Ibrahim. Go down, you see it in English. Allahumma salli, Allahumma send salah, prayer on Muhammad and upon the family of Muhammad. It's confirmed that Al is a word before a name of a person and mean a family. Are we done? No, we just started. <laughs>
Actually, I should I should finish because I I was planning. You see, I said to myself, I will make the video maybe twenty minutes uh, so people can download it easy. This will go forever, so I have to make it shorter. Okay, I will make it shorter. <clears throat> Look what Muhammad he said. The daughter of Amran and Asiya, the wife of Pharaoh. <laughs> you see, if a Pharaoh was a title of many kings, start in certain time. Okay, who is the wife of Pharaoh? Unless Pharaoh is a man. His name is Pharaoh. And Muhammad here, by the way, he insult Aisha. He insult all women. He says she is like a dish for me. This is how Muhammad is a view in women. She's a dish. Read, read carefully. She is my favorite dish. She is my favorite meal. No woman reach such a level except Mary and the daughter of Amran and Asiya, the wife of Pharaoh. Do you see it? So Asiya is an is a is a name of a person. And she is a wife of a person. His name is Pharaoh. As you see. Imra'a to Pharaoh. He didn't say the wife of the Pharaoh, wife of Pharaoh, Pharaoh, because your idiot prophet he think that this is a name of a person. Are we good guys? I'm going to stop here, otherwise we will keep going forever. You know, I can keep going with this for like 10 days to come with more reference and more proofs. When Muslim they try to defend their prophet, they do, you know, this is how they do it. The Quran say a verse which I like very much. I like to mention it uh, to Dr. Imam Sheikh, Prophet of Allah, Adnan Rashid. You are genius. The Quran spoke about people like you. Saying, talking about our Torah and about gospel, saying, the similarity between people like you who carry the Messianic Jew, the Torah, is the same as a donkey who carry a huge tomes, but he didn't understand any of them. That verse, I believe, Adnan Rashid, was made specifically for you, not for Muhammad. Muhammad, he understand everything. Do you see it? Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to download the video. All my videos are free for you to use and abuse. If you are already a subscriber, don't forget to unsubscribe because Allah will give you a blessing if you unsubscribe to the enemy of Allah. So if you are a Muslim and you want to get a blessing, subscribe and unsubscribe because Allah will double your reward. And that will make you have bad deed one, but two good deed, brother. What a genius. I will try to be back live on air maybe an hour from now. If you guys like to join us, may the Lord bless you all. Please download the video, share it with your friends. And as I said, we can go, uh, I can go forever, you know, but that's enough, isn't it? Very embarrassing. And we showed you even that Islamic scholars agree with the Christian prince, not Christian prince making things up. Scholars, historian, scientist, speak against what they claim, and they are Muslims. In Islamic TV, in Islamic newspaper, in the middle of Egypt, where the Azhar University, the highest school for terrorism. Yeah, about one hour from now, we will go live on air again. Just give me a time to have a break, guys. Come on. I have four wives. You know, we wanted to make some babies. So we can do jihad, like the Prophet, he said, you know. And I will be sure to do and say, inshallah, knowledge. I mean, Islam is a knowledge. Islam is a Islam is a is made by a genius. His name is Muhammad, who said, if a woman have orgasm first, the baby will be a, a girl. If the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. Huh? I mean, uh, I mean, genius, genius man. Are you kidding me? I mean, we cannot. We, 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 Now I know where we, we is coming from in the police one. Coming from the Prophet of Allah, we can find it in the Quran.
crazy people literally crazy people desperate bankrupt when you are bankrupt you look for your pennies and this is the penny you get for us your god could not get one name correct haman in the in, with, with with the pharaoh and mary she is the sister of aaron and her father is omran and moses his father is omran all the names in the quran are wrong can you quote me one name is correct even even jesus became he said how oh, we do not know simply as i believe that Maryam, the sister of Aaron, she have a son. His name is Isa. So the fool Muhammad, he thought that Isa is the son of Maryam, who is the nephew of Aaron and Musa. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> See you again, guys, in an hour from now. Leave for me a comment if you like to speak about a special topic. If there is something special you like to talk about, about Islam, and we will go from there. I don't prepare for anything, but this time I was... Yesterday watching the video of uh, David and I feel sorry like those guys are doing their best to convince what the Quran call a donkey carrying a Torah. You cannot do that. It's impossible. It is impossible. And the funny Muhammad saying that it's like a donkey who carried the Torah when he is supposedly a person who cannot read the Torah. I mean, do you see the stupidity? Muhammad making this verse. But he himself cannot read his own book and neither the Torah because he don't read Arabic. So how you talk about a book you cannot read? How you can understand a book you cannot read? Stupidity. Thank you very much for being here. If you like to read more and learn more about Islam, you can read my books. You can find them in Amazon.com. And until I see you within an hour from now, may the Lord bless you all. This is a Christian Prince with you and our love and our greeting for the the ones who, who, who try to share their uh, the truth with the Muslims like David Wood and Sam Shamoon but always you need to remember that those Muslims are not there especially those ones you are talking about they are not there to listen they are just to talk it's a business for them same time remember when a Muslim says to you that the Torah and the gospel is corrupt tell them the Torah of Allah is corrupt aha uh -huh, thank you you got your prophet busted your god busted don't say to them no 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 say oh the torah of allah is corrupted oh the gospel of... and in the second you will see how their how, how their face change they will say no 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 we are talking about the bible your bible says we don't have a bible according to the quran this is the book of allah is it sent by allah <laughs> stupidity is amazing it's amazing and funny and beautiful i love it <laughs> thanks to allah that your followers are like this. Come to daddy, Allah. Come to daddy. Is that the best you can get us? This is the best smart people you have. If those are the best, who is the worst? brother I'm going to prove it to you. Christian Prince is lying to you. That's it. Proving to be true. Thank you. And see you soon again. Bye-bye.